side of me, the other side of us all. I plant the seed and feel the need to wait and watch it grow from the other side, the other side of me, the other side of us all. I could be all things, cause I'm the one pulling strings. I like the side effects and side effects of your disease. You take me out of control, you bring me down to my knees. At least that's what I let you think and see. Cause I could be all things. So nice of you to decide to join me for the last 10 feet. Yeah, I figured I could use a wrist jog before the paps put on their pots of coffee. Well, the smoke, classy. Anyway, you could have slept for at least another hour or two. The paps would never believe that you were up <coughs> before brunch. Oh my God, you're Eddie Malone. <laughs> Jeffrey, this is the actress from the uh, Facebook affair movies. Oh, oh, right, the babysitter who gets decapitated in Are You, you Alone? alone? <laughs> oh, my God, I know who you are now. You are so good. I know. I, let's get a picture of her. <laughs> oh, oh, no, uh, we're not really no, prepared sure, I'd love to take to. Uh, let, Let's get Barbara and Liza in the shot. Uh, Philip, Barbara's at the vet. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. I just forgot. I'm uh -huh. so excited to meet you. And let's get your gorgeous boyfriend in. As oh, well. no, we're not together. Oh, we're the closest thing each other has to a boyfriend. <laughs> but he's really just my gay. Oh. <laughs> okay, everybody, say Tori Spelling. Tori Spelling! Look at this. Oh, oh my mother's going to pop. She's going to get acid reflux. She's oh. going to be so giddy. Fill up, come on. Wait a minute. Do you smell liquor? And we're done. Well, it was nice meeting you. We have to be going now. I wonder what he smelled. Last night's vodka seeping from your pores. Oh, well, in that case, it was a rum and diet, not vodka. I will not be around people to drink. Such a pretty girl, too. What a shame, huh? You know, I'm not going to go through what we went through last year. Hey, 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 take you a pill. You made me completely... Calm down. I don't want to take, take a, a pill. pill. I'm Let's not a drug addict. Walk the dog. No, put the dog down. What am I? What is this? Valley put the, the dog. dog down. We'll walk the dog. All right, don't yell at me. Oh, no, Maybe, aside from the fact that you eat, drink, and belch way more than any boyfriend I've ever had. Since we're practically married, maybe I should just, just move in here with you. What prompted that idea? Well, you're right next to the bars. And, you know, it's so much cozier here than it is in that big, empty house in the hills. That big, empty house is yours, Eddie. Remember how you bought it just because you couldn't live without it? But I'm still always over here. I know. You know, it's not like I'd be ruining your game. You haven't had a date since Britt's big comeback. Thank you, Lucifer. Hello. Yeah. Hey. What? All right. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Eddie? Where is your car? Hmm? Your insanely expensive mint white M3 convertible. Where is it? Outside. Goldie just got off the phone with Coco. And apparently, last night, you backed your car over their valet stand and then fled the scene in a cab full Frat boys. Sorry. Damn it, Eddie, this is really bad. Oh, Carrie Prejean's future career bad? Eddie, I'm serious. First a hot dog thing and now this. Don't you realize that you could have gone to jail? Uh, but I didn't. And you want to know why? Because God provides. <laughs> and BTW, I'm hella tired of defending myself over that Dodger dog blowjob stunt, okay? It was a joke. But your career isn't, and you can't keep treating it like one. Don't get your Giovanni's in a twist, Clark. TJ will fix it. She always does. Ugh, look, I gotta go. Goldie's saying that the media is going nuts over this. I need you to stay here today. Do not go anywhere. Do not do anything. And don't touch anything either. Swear. Ugh. I'll 
be in my office all day dealing with this mess. How's damage control? Better. TJ released a statement to DMZ saying that Eddie's stunt was just an ill-placed moment of method acting for an upcoming action film. What action film? Well, TJ said you better find a script we can publicly attach her to until this all blows over. Brilliant. Where's the Beamer? I had to drive a pick it up at the tow yard. It's pretty banged up, though. Where to? Uh, tell them to send it to AGT, send Bobby to have a look. Did anyone get any photos? Perez. Uh. But hey, at least they only drew one penis in her mouth this time. Fine. I'm gonna call Lisa then. Thank you for all your help. Compared to Monday Night Drag, this is nothing. Splendor one cream? Yep. Oh, wait. How is she, by the way? Not a care in the world, as usual. Mm. Cooper, you shouldn't have. Anything for you, gorgeous. Mm. Don't tease. My heart cannot take it after the morning we've had. How's the old nub? One of the worst mornings in his overworked and unfulfilled life. When are you going to make an honest man out of him already, hmm? You know that ship's long sailed. Yet, you still bring the boy his favorite takeout every Friday. Think it's safe to venture inside. All right, thank you. Hungry, handsome? Yes, thank you, Avenine, today. So, mm. so what's the verdict? Oh, better. Coco's not pressing charges because of the business that Eddie brings in, and Lisa's only insisting that she write a formal letter of apology. You mean a letter signed by Eddie, written by you? Funny. God, I just want this week to be over. Hey, are you coming tonight? You never emailed me back. You know I never check my email. You must text me. So you already have plans then? No. Unless you're trying to set me up as someone from your AIDS charity again, and in that case, yes. Don't be a judge of Judy. Please. Like you would date even one of the guys you set me up with. <laughs> I don't have time to date. Thanks. <laughs> Yet you have time to tell other people who they should be dating. Whatever. I was only trying to broaden your horizons beyond, I don't know, box dancers and barbacks. Funny. Well, broaden your own. My dating life's just fine. You're the one in need of a date. Or a good lay. Whatever. Anyway, I wasn't trying to set you up, all right? Throwing an anniversary dinner tonight for Sam and Steve. Why are you throwing their anniversary dinner? Because I set them up, remember? All right, so I'll ask again. Why are you throwing their anniversary dinner? Your sarcasm is the reason we broke up, you do realize. Oh, shit. I've been operating under the assumption it was your inability to satisfy me sexually. Cooper. All the Randy Blue and Sean Cody boys combined couldn't keep you satisfied. Now you in or not? All right. Hey, whose place is this again? Oh, his name is Clark. He and I share a client, Eddie Malone. You won't be able to miss her. She'll be the slutty-looking blonde disaster. Wait, isn't she the one I, who just... I, don't you speak of it until my blood alcohol level is twice the legal limit. Okay, darling? Okay. How did I got her? Hey! Hey! Mark. DJ, hey! Sorry. <laughs> this is Pierce. Hello, Pierce. Come in, come in, come in. Just so you know now, everyone here is pretty douchey, so just smile and pretend that everything they say is genius. Lovely. Mm. Uh, so there's uh, champagne and wine on the bar, there's brie on the table. TJ, you don't mind doing the intros? I'm gonna get the bread out of the oven. Yeah. You didn't tell me Clark was so hot. I didn't think he'd be your type. What's my type? Who knows? You never date. Anyway, yes, Clark is quite beautiful. And unfortunately already married to his career. Goldie, Pierce, Pierce, Goldie. Goldie is Clark's assistant. So nice to meet you, Pierce, with the piercing eyes. And nice to meet you, Goldie, with the golden locks. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, and I know you're down there, Miss Malone. I could smell the stink of camel Turkish silvers mixed with Hermes Faubourg as I walked in the front door. 
cigarettes. I just keep dropping them. Hi, I'm Eddie Malone, in case you didn't already know. <laughs> oh, I recognize you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. And dear, did we forget our cash and just decide to tip the valet with our car instead? See what I mean? Yes. Come on. Hey guys. Hey! Mwah. How are you? Mwah. Guys, this is my good friend Pierce. Pierce, Sam, Steve, and Cooper. Okay. Nice to meet you all. Tonight is actually Sam and Steve's five-year anniversary. That's why we're here celebrating. Oh wow, congratulations, guys. Thank you. It's nothing. Five years of your BS? That's definitely something to celebrate. <laughs> and uh, Cooper here used to date Clark. Yeah, now Clark just dates himself. And Cooper dates everyone else. Not true. It's not true. Nah, but Cooper here really is an anomaly. I mean, he's the only man in 10 years to crack her dear Clark's impenetrable rainbow cases. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I barely brushed the glitter flexor. Laugh it up, Moe. Now shut up and come eat the salad before I cover it with croutons. Uh, don't carve the green. <laughs> Hey, will you girls get in here? Oh, hey, can I help? You need help? Thank you. Hey, would you two mind prepping and setting up plates while I refresh everyone's drinks then? Thanks. I am not aiding and abetting your escape. Clark will fire me. Please. Oh. Ugh, he's not going to fire you. He's got his hands way too full with me. He doesn't have time to fire you. They'll see us if we try and leave out the front door, duh. <coughs> That's why we're going to sneak out. What? Shut up! God! What? I'm not gonna climb down some tree in my high heels. Oh, please. The ground is like... Right there. Okay. Just help me. God! Oh, you're so stupid. What's wrong with you? Come on! It's totally safe. Just jump! Oh, that is ridiculous. I don't care how many endangered polar bears were skinned for her cause. Toxic is far superior to bad romance. Pripprit's out. Gaga's in. Deal. You take that back, Stephen Sanders! Ladies, let's keep our tampons in, shall we? It's supposed to be a happy anniversary, remember? Crappy anniversary is more like it. Over into that. <laughs> <laughs> and you always <laughs> have to <laughs> <laughs> I am not saying that out of proportion. Oh shit! No, you do. They've escaped. Well. All right, uh, Sam and Stephen, why don't you head down to Melrose? TJ, you and Pierce head over to La Cienega. Coop and I will head up to Santa Monica. No way! I never get to see Cooper. I'm taking him with me. Fine, fine, fine. Just look, hurry. All right? They're probably trying to flag a taxi from some corner as we speak. What do you think they were off to? From the nearest club, no doubt. But Eddie's wearing six inch high heels, so I guarantee they haven't gotten very far. It sounds like she's done this before. Who, Eddie? Yeah, she's a firecracker to say the least. Thank God we have the best publicist in town. Yeah, TJ truly is a piranha, yes. So uh, how do you uh, know each other? We actually met at a pet store a couple of years ago. She was buying food for her cat, and then she sent a couple of clients my way. Oh, yeah? What do you do? Life coach. Specialized in wilderness therapy, actually. Wilderness therapy? Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, Maya and I, we take clients on retreats. You know, usually up to Angeles National for a few days. Help clients clear their heads, get some newfound perspective on their lives, you know. And Angeles National? Where, where is that? It's only like 30 minutes north of here. What, like a real forest? I had no idea. You like to keep it a secret. <laughs> no. Oh, hey, hold on, my shoe. You should have brought this smile with you. I mean, I made plenty of food. Why? Mine's my dog. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I thought she was 
girlfriend. No, 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 I'm, I'm gay. You don't look gay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how exactly do gay people look? You're just not much like guys here in WeHo. Thank God for that. Uh, but I'm a guy here in WeHo. Uh, well, you know, I mean, <laughs> all right, sometimes I just, I don't know, being raised here, I just like to escape the city as much as I can. Sometimes I just like load this place, you know? So why are you still here? So well, there's one. Ah, martyring yourself to the masses. What a stand-up guy. A regular catcher in the rye, huh? What kind of guy are you? The tired kind. Ah, oh, shit. That'll be Eddie. Am I fired? Guess not, since you're the only reason that she didn't go to jail. Now don't be too hard on her girl, okay? Good night. I am sorry, Clark, but I am done with that girl. TJ. Save it, Clark. That girl is a liability and you know it. So I'm tired of cleaning up after her. It was a pleasure to meet you, meet you, Clark, just, you know, despite the circumstances. But if there's anything I can do to... It's nice meeting you too, Pierce. Um, be safe. What were you thinking? Citizen Pierce with the piercing eyes. Hello, Goldie. Do you think Clark might have a moment to see me? It's been a real grumpy goat today. Enter at your own discretion. <sighs> what? How much? Are you kidding? No way. No way. There's no way we're paying that much. I understand, but does... Well, then see. See if he'll renegotiate. I understand, but does he understand that she... Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Just call me if anything... Yeah. Hey. How are you? How did you, um... Uh, uh, TJ told me where your office was. Uh, how's she? Uh, she's calmed down a bit over the weekend. Yeah. Seems like most of the publicists in L.A. are too scared to take Eddie on without a hefty sum. Can't say that I blame them. But if Eddie can't be handled by T.J., then I'm not sure who can. Maybe I could. I'm sorry? I want to help you. And Eddie. How? A wilderness therapy retreat, like I was talking to you about. We take Eddie and a few of her pals up to my cabin for the weekend, and I show her that there's more to life than shopping, happy hours, and parties. Hmm. Eddie will never go for it. Oh, but she just may if she realizes it's the only way TJ will keep her on as a client. But TJ already said that she's dropping her. I had a long talk with TJ over the weekend, and she agreed that if Eddie goes on this retreat and actually learns something from it, she will keep her on as a client. Seriously? Mm-hmm. 
Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. But why would you want to help us? I mean, not that I'm not grateful and blah, 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 but I mean, you saw how crazy that Eddie can be. Oh, yeah. No, I did. <laughs> uh, but <sighs> I see that you and TJ see this potential in her. And I'm hoping I can be the one to help her reach it. Martyring yourself to the masses, huh? <laughs> Hardly. Hmm. All right. Why not? Let's do it. <laughs> Eddie, want some kettle corn? No thanks, I'm beat. I'm thinking I'm just gonna hit the sack early. Well, um, we kind of need to talk about some things, remember? Uh, yeah, I'm having narcolepsy. Can it wait? First thing tomorrow, then. House arrest, sweetheart. Whatever, fine. Speak. So, TJ isn't dropping you after all. Really? Oh my god, that's great. But only under one condition. Oh my god. She wants me to speak at another one of those lesbian power conferences? Clark, those ladies are scary. No, Eddie. We hired her friend Pierce from the dinner. This would be your new life coach. Life coach? Mm hmm. Are you serious? It's a crying queen front and center at a Lady Gaga concert. And why would you agree to this? Because TJ could argue your way into heaven after you'd been condemned to hell. Eddie. I can't handle my other clients and you without any help from her. You know what? This isn't fair. <laughs> I don't want to see some shrink. This is exactly what my parents spent all their time and time trying to get me to do. He's not a shrink, Eddie. It's a weekend wilderness therapy retreat. A weekend wilderness what? No way. It'll be fun. Besides, it's not negotiable. It's already done. You mean my life is done? Or your career, possibly. If you don't give this a shot, your call. Just so you know, I'm so not talking to you right now. Huh. I guess that means that for once I'll be able to watch some TV in peace and silence. When is this stupid retreat anyway? We leave on Friday after lunch, but knowing you, you better start packing now. It's only Monday. Exactly my point. Not to mention that you don't have anything else better to do this week besides that CW pilot callback and write that letter of apology to the owners of Coco. Yeah. You can write that letter. You write, I sign. I'm glad you decided to come, TJ. The only reason I'm here is to keep my eyes on Eddie. Just like the only reason you're here is to keep your eyes on Clark. This is, is strictly... <laughs> Besides, Clark doesn't realize I exist beyond handshakes and blows. And my guess is you're hoping this weekend will open his eyes. <laughs> That's absurd. Please, Pierce, you can't bullshit the paid bullshitter. I mean, why else would you beg me not to drop a client you barely even know? I need the money, okay? I mean, <laughs> this economy, people think life coaching is a foolish way to spend. Please, we both know why you're really here, and it's fine. Just don't get in over your head, okay? Over my head? I'm a trained professional. I've done this a thousand times. Oh, fine. Just so you know, Eddie's a professionally trained escape artist. So it's going to take a lot more than your little wilderness regiment to put that hot tranny mess in check. Oh, did you say tranny? Mm. <laughs> We're going <laughs> camping, dear, not northern Vietnam. Okay, A, you offend me. I am Vietnamese. Whoa. B, C, 
sorry. Camo is totes approves in all things pertaining to nature. I figured you, being a lesbian and all, would know that better than anyone. And what's that supposed to mean? Lesbians love nature. Duh. That is the dumbest damn thing I ever heard, Goldie. And where the hell are Eddie and Clark? Uh, it's gonna be a long weekend. Oh. Nope, you gotta go in here. Oh. Get in there, buddy. Here we go. <laughs> Eddie, get up. We gotta go. Eddie, I'm serious. They're already outside waiting on us. We'll stop and pick up coffee and red velvet from Doughboys on the way out. Get out. Now. Oh, this must be Maya. Oh boy, uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know how we're gonna fit five people and all this stuff in this truck. Oh, no worries. We'll just put the rest of it in Cooper's car. Huh? Well, now it really feels like a party. My God, you're heat from speaking harder. Yes, I am. But uh, my real name is Gage. Gage. This is Clark, TJ, Goldie, Eddie, and I'm sorry, I forgot your name. It's Pierce. Cooper, can I talk to you for a second? Will you sign this, please? Oh. Oh. TJ, it is so good to see you. And you know what? I really wanted to Listen tell you. Listen to me very carefully, Miss Malone. I do not do second chances. And the only reason you're getting this one is because I believe in your talent and I believe in your team. But right now, I am having a very difficult time believing in you. Who is that? You didn't tell me you were bringing anyone. Well, I'm sorry I forgot to get permission, Dad. I didn't know you needed a formal headcount on a camping trip. This isn't just any old camping trip. We're doing this for Eddie. This is therapy for her. I, I can't believe... I am here for Eddie, and he's not a date. He's my trainer. Besides, I brought him for you. What? I don't need a trainer. I didn't say you did, but this is a therapy retreat, right? I brought him to give you some much-needed sexual therapy. Hey, kids. Who's ready to camp? So, uh, how do the rooms work? Uh, well, there's three. Uh, there's a couple of doubles downstairs. There's some queens upstairs. There's a uh, room down the hall. And a pull out right here. sharing a room. Yeah, Gage, you don't mind going down, do you? Anytime. Good boy. All right. Well, I guess Maya and I will take the pull out. And you two can go down the hall. Sound good? Please let this place have I ain't your mama. What's all this for? It's for Eddie's cleanse. <laughs> uh, this ought to be good. Hey, let me know if you need any help tying her down. <laughs> uh. Eddie? Harvesting acorns? Harvesting. Okay. Hmm. 
What the hell are you doing? I guarantee your lungs are already singing my praises. What the hell is that? So I'm gonna wash these down. Yeah, here's the thing is I don't eat rabbit poop. They're actually Chinese herbs to help flush the toxins out of your liver. I didn't know you were Chinese. I don't discriminate. Now open up. Oh my god! That is the most disgusting thing I've ever had in my life. I swear to god, my vomit. After sushi and ten sake bombs taste better than that. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. Look, Eddie, I'm here to help you, but you actually have to want my help. That's how it works. And this is nothing personal against you, but I just, I don't need your help. But you do need your publicist. In order to keep her, you have to let me help you. Look, just humor me for the weekend, okay? If Sunday rolls around and you're still not convinced I can help, you're free. Great. Well, what are we going to do then? Well, I can help you with any aspect of your life. From... Your diet to your career, from your body to the spiritual. I'd actually like to help you find a way to function happily with a little less stimulation and more moderation. Oh, well, that sounds boring. <laughs> Tonight we'll start with the campfire confessional, and I promise you, it's anything but boring. Ooh. So pretty. I didn't see anything, I swear. Sure you didn't. No, really, I didn't. Why, you don't think Clark's hot? That's what the point is, my client. No, I'm your client. He's just the hottie writing your check. Besides, I didn't ask you if you wanted a Prop 8 rally with him. I just asked if you thought it was cute. I think we should focus on you. It's okay. You have a big, fat crush on Clark. And I get it. Who doesn't? And don't you worry. Your secret is safe with me. Provided I don't have to drink any of those nasty raw sewage shakes anymore. <laughs> Fine. No more. Sewage shakes. But with that, I'm still your coach. What are you doing? That's what I like to call a make under. Oh, make under? I need my makeup. My skin is terrible. Actually, your skin is pretty damn flawless, considering all the shit you clog your pores with. My makeup is organic and oil free, and it doesn't come cheap. This is not about the makeup. This is about you. Beauty is only skin deep. Now, you can still have the essentials eyeliner and gloss, concealer if you have a blemish, which you do. So, dunk it. Do I do? Oh! Wow, I've thought about doing that so many times in my show. I'm giving her a make under. Make under? Mm -hmm. Oh, Clark, he's the new Lucifer. Oh, hey, so uh, we're going to need wood for that uh, campfire thing, right? Oh, we've got plenty of wood up here, don't we, Pierce? Oh, yeah? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, it's uh, down by the, uh, the, the, you know, there's plenty of logs. Uh, I'm done here. I'm going to come with you. Ambush are like two biggest best action figures. You know, the ones with like the thing in the back and they can like kick and punch and throw fire. So <laughs> okay. I'm like waiting there, and then all of a sudden all of our friends show up with all their action figures and they just ambush me in my own room. So I stand there and I just drop my pants and pee on her. <laughs> I don't know where I don't know where it came from, but I peed <laughs> on my sister. Oh my god. I know. That's hilarious. It don't really work. I can't believe you peed on her. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like it so much. <laughs> Did she ever forgive you? Well, eventually. I mean, she's my sister. She kind of had to. You know, we're like best friends now. You gotta forgive and forget, right? Um, well, it sounds like you're close to your family. Yeah, I'm really blessed, actually. They're pretty great people. How about you? Uh, yeah. I mean, mine's great, too. I don't really see them much. Uh, but, you know, we talk on the phone. Sometimes. Anyway, they're all back in Hog Eye. Wait, wait. Hog Eye? <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> small town, Texas, nowheresville, not exactly the best place to visit. Well, if your family's there, that's reason enough, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, tiger. What? Always pick a stick up from the opposite side of where your foot stands. There could be a snake hiding underneath. You're from Texas, you should know that. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't do much wood gathering back home, but I will say this. If I ever pee on my sister, 
She might have strangled me, regardless of whether or not she scared the crap out of me first. Well, I bet your sister's not half as twisted and sadistic as mine is. Uh, I don't know about that. One time? <laughs> uh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> here it comes. Yeah, here it comes. <laughs> All right, so one time, she put me in her tutu, painted my nails pink, hit the polish remover, and then, and then, <laughs> Oh no. Tricked me into thinking that my dad was coming home early from dove hunting. I'm like, I was terrified. Terrified I'd be beat. Oh my god, he would have killed you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, hey, that about does it. Set back. Okay. Alright, uh, so what right now? Just uh, let's go gather the troops, start a fire. So what do you Don't even think about it, Blondie. What? Can't a girl hydrate herself without security being called? Jeez. Freedom mm -hmm. and weep. What? Oh, Oh, man. Do you really have to take me to Guam to get firewood? <laughs> Toughen up, soldier. We're here. We're done right there. All right. <laughs> oh, no. No, this is a bad idea. So what? They're going to be pissed. Who cares? It's part of the fun. Or have you forgotten how to have fun, Mr. Townsend? <laughs> <laughs> me? You're the one who's so serious about this wilderness shit. And hey... My life revolves around putting famous people in movies, entertaining fancy premieres, and hosting amazing dinner nights. I know how to have fun. Oh, okay. gotcha, totally. Yeah, so you know how to entertain. When's the last time you entertained yourself? All right, fine. What do we do? Just make the ugliest face you can. <laughs> His face has a hard time being ugly. Oh, brother, except when you say things like that. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with you two? Ain't a damn thing out there. Ah! I'm not scaring TJ, you do it. No, I'm not scaring her. It's your stupid idea, you do it. She's right above us, just do it. Fine, ready? Okay, three, one, two. What the hell is wrong with you two? Now I got a house full of screaming queens up in there. You're not gonna like pee on us, are you? <laughs> pee on you. I'm gonna beat you. Oh. Clark. Get yep. in the house. Okay. Here, start the campfire already. Assholes. Anyone else got the DTs? Yes. Open up a bottle. Lushes. The campfire is good to go. Nope, nope, nope. Eddie is refusing to go outdoors for the confessional. Something about raccoons staring at her and bats in her hair. I don't but, know. Maybe we can even talk her into it. Excuse me. Hey, nice oh, to grab this here corkscrew. Oh, nice buns. Seriously? I'm gonna go get Eddie to come. So, who's? Yes. Yes, please. Eddie! I know you're up here. This isn't working. Sex appeal isn't everything. Uh, uh. uh Hello. Shh. Her. Damn! Where have you been hiding all of this? I'm feeling kind of wily. Oh, here. Uh, put this on. Why? If you can't appreciate how amazing your body is, then no one else will either. What are you, what are you doing? Trying to get you and Clark in bed together. Uh, Lord knows you want it, and Lord knows he's overdue. Okay, so, uh, uh how'd you and Clark meet, anyway? Uh, just at a gay bar. I was a nobody, and I would really wanted this audition, so... Clark stole a password from this agent he knew and submitted me himself. Sounds like he really believed in you, huh? Yeah, well... It worked. And that's how he became my manager. I mean, he has like 20, you know, something plus clients now, but I'm still his best. Okay. Of course. So, later, I'm gonna pretend to be cold and you're gonna take off your flannel and give it to me. Uh, that's not gonna be quite so convincing, you know, with you refusing to go outside in the cold and all. You Just know, saying. 
Oh, well, you protect me from big scary woodsmen out there, and I help you climb Yummy Man's Mountain in here. Ew. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. You turn down the heat, and then I'm going to crack the window open a little bit, and it's gonna be freezing in here before you can say shrinkage. And then I'm gonna pretend to be really, really cold, and then you're gonna give me your flannel, and then before you know it, voila, beefcake dessert for everybody. <laughs> if I give you my flannel, I'm gonna be cold. Coldness is hotness, and hotness is pain, believe you me, I read the book. I don't know. What about the glasses? Uh, keep them. Keep them. Yeah. The glasses are sexy. It's what separates you from porn man. <laughs> Among other things. Uh, there! <laughs> why me? I mean, why not Gage? Because Clark likes you. He just doesn't know it yet. This really isn't me. Well, so you don't have to be Mr. Big Shot Woodsman all the time. You can be lots of different things, you know? That's why I love acting, because you can be anything. I'm supposed to be your life coach, right? It's because your name is Ray doesn't mean you're always right. <laughs> Dork. Boys, he's ready, and go! Come on, go, 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 go! And it's Gage for the gold! It's not fair, he only won because he worked in every damn bar in West Hollywood. Oh yeah, you mean all those bars that you frequent on a daily basis? Funny. Hey, how about you, hot stuff? You want to come swallow some shots with me? Yeah, no thanks. If Cooper can't beat you, I don't have a chance in hell. Hey, oh. Pierce, uh, my boy Clark here is too much of a pussy to take some shots with us. Why don't you show my boy Gage how it's done? <laughs> oh no, one is good, thanks. <laughs> I've had four. Two's a fair trade. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Two. Mm. Hey, Pierce. Wiener? Uh, just got chilly in here. Anyone want to crank up the heat? Sorry. I turned the heat down this afternoon, and it's probably going to take a while to heat back up again. Here. Take this. Oh, but aren't you going to be cold? No. I'll be fine. Thanks. Put this on before you catch a damn cold. Mm. Oh, you smell good. What is that? It's campfire smoke. Hey, do you want to make out? You have mustard on your face. So are we going to do this campfire confessional thing or what? Yes, yes. It's about that time. Campfire confessional? Yes, it's this little a tool I like to use to help bring my clients closer together, you know, to keep us all at ease with each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're not your students. Yeah, but I am, and if I have to do it, so does everybody else. So how does it work? Well, we go around the room and we tell something about ourselves that no one else knows. Ooh, I want to go first, can I? Yeah, sure, go okay. for it. Hmm. So... This is gonna sound kind of weird, but I kind of like to chew my toenails. Oh, Lord, that is disgusting. This, I don't know, it's a weird, it's a weird habit, I can't help it. As long as you and I are sharing the bed this weekend, you better find a way. All right. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Um, I guess we'll go around this way, which brings us to me. I guess my big secret would be that I go to church almost every Sunday. But dude, you're gay. That makes no sense. <laughs> what makes no sense is one gay telling another gay that they can't be spiritual. It doesn't make you much smarter than those ignorant zealots that set that precedent to begin with. Fine, fine. Wasn't trying to throw hate raid all over the campfire confessional. I just thought that for us gays, the closest thing we had at church was Sunday brunch. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's input is welcome. Just remember, the point of this exercise is to bring us together. Not divide us. Cooper, mm. you're up. Something no one knows. That's going to be pretty hard. Clark here knows pretty much everything there is to know. 
Except one thing. Oh, this ought to be good. I kind of have a crush on someone at this fire. <laughs> Thought it was supposed to be something nobody knows. All right, Smarty. Why don't you give in finally tell us what TJ really stands for? Fine. Stands for Terrell Justice. Oh. Wow. That's really beautiful. Yeah. So how come you never tell us before? Because I am an angry black lesbian and we just don't give shit away for free. Engage <laughs> your up. Uh, sometimes, when I'm really wasted, I like to have sex with boys that are dressed up like girls. Mm. That's really messed up, isn't it? Oh, yeah, sure. That's way worse than the fact that you shoot gay porn. I'm sure yours isn't nearly as bad. Well, I don't know, maybe it is. I guess my big secret would be my regret not spending enough time with my family. You know, missing out on my nieces and nephews, growing up, my parents getting old. Clark, that makes me really sad. But you know what, that's a good thing, because you're having an epiphany of self-realization before it's too late, right? Yeah. Really smart. Thanks. Yeah. A anyway, um, didn't mean to, uh, sorry to dampen the mood, guys. Um, Eddie, why don't you go? Okay. So... Everyone always wants to know why I'm like perpetually single. And the reason is that I really don't need a man as long as I have my clerk. An 88. Oh, what's, what's 88? Oh, that's my vibrator. But you know, by the end of this weekend, it might be 89. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't get why you would go. <gasps> oh, you are so nasty! You better wash your hands. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, what's up? Not much. I was just thinking, you know what? It's really nice what you do for people, you know? Thanks, I do what I can. Yeah. You know, I'd like to thank, if uh, I weren't so busy all the time, I'd, you know, be more thoughtful myself. Oh, uh, sorry. No worries, man. I was, uh, actually just about to come find you. I was just wondering, maybe we could slide those twin beds in my room together. Um... That's a really nice offer, Gage, but you're, you're, you're bunking with Cooper, remember? No way. He's upstairs with the lumberjack. They're probably, I don't know, Jack and Lumber or something. Hey, uh, maybe we could jack some lumber. Um, you have... You should get some water so you don't get a hangover. You find me attractive, Pierce? Yeah, well, sure. Why do you... Oh, uh, oops. Sorry. It's just, I'm um, going to the kitchen sink to brush my teeth. Look, I'm... I'm flattered, but we have an early morning. Okay. 
see in a while. Good morning! Oh, God. The <sighs> it's time for your morning jog. When it's snowing out there. Well, you better dress warm. Clark, wanna come? No. Thanks. Actually, I'm surprised you're up this early considering the late night you had. Okay. Maybe downstairs in the intent. Coffee? I already had my wake-up shake, thanks. You all right? What? Yeah. Oh, fine. Morning, guys. And why are you so chipper? I figured you'd have a raging hangover after all that tequila. Surprisingly, no. A lot of water right before bed did just a trick. Oh, damn it. What? I'm still waiting to hear back whether or not I booked that CW pilot. They're not going to call this early on a Saturday, dear. So where are kids running off to? Oh, we get to go for a jog. Apparently, Pierce here thinks I'm built like one of Sanchez's reindeer. Sweet. I love a brisk jog in the cold. Can I come? So which way, boss? South. There's a trail down the Sweetser Falls right there. Ready? Yeah. Uh. I cannot believe this place does not have wireless. Do you ever stop working, Clark? Ha! You're one to talk. Yes, well, I do work hard, but I also reward myself afterward. You should try it sometime. Now, where the hell are your clothes? I ain't seen a penis since my senior year of high school, and I'd like to keep it that way. Mm, anyone seen Coop? I went jogging with Piers and Eddie. You guys, <coughs> I can't breathe. How did you get to know this motley crew? Well, I met almost everybody through Clark. <laughs> Except for Goldie, who when I first met him only went by Gary. Gary? <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah, I actually used to work for my firm until he got canned. Why? Well, one day he uh, showed up for work and was no longer Gary. So he came to work and drag. Good for him. Yeah, I don't think the executives were too pleased. Found some bullshit reason to can him. You guys stayed friends? Well, I'd run into him, her, at bars and stuff after. And, uh, well, it was good to see, to see her finally comfortable in her own shoes. You know? Six inch heels. <laughs> After that, she couldn't get a job anywhere until she met Clark. He hired her when no one else would. Huh. That's really nice of him. Yeah. So in return, Goldie set him up with you? I guess. It was really her doing me a, f <laughs> doing me a favor. Well, Clark's one of a kind. How long are you two together? Four years. That's four years of my life. It's two, probably. So then what happened? I don't know, I guess we grew up. I don't understand how two people can choose to end something when they still love each other. That, well, love doesn't always have to change, but people always do. Sometimes the road forks and people take different paths. But that's life. And besides, it's kind of exciting. Never knowing where the road's gonna lead you. Hey, last one back to Rotten Mo. Okay. <laughs> so 
storm's come. Mm. Hope they brought their ponchos. Mm. So, how was the running thing? I didn't die in your shower. Not yet, Miss Malone. I'm not a cat. How many lives do you think I have, mister? You can take as many showers as you want after your facial. Oh, I love a good facial. Oh, what kind are they? Oh, you'll see. This right here is a combination of ingredients guaranteed to revitalize that smoke-weathered skin of yours. One is actually a mineral-enriched mud I sieve myself from a place right down the trail by the lake. Ew! You're using oh. dirt from the ground? It's the best kind. And the other? Hmm. The other is the key ingredient of the world-famous geisha facial. Which is a lot. Oh, just nightingale droppings. What? Are you meaning to tell me that you put dirt and bird shit on my face? Yes. Oh, gross. I want to go home. Sounds amazing. From what I've had in the tabloids, Miss Malone, oh. you've had much worse on your face. Oh, shut up. Ooh. <laughs> Clark, your phone is ringing. Hello? Yeah? Good job, Miss Malone. Honestly. <laughs> Try to talk to you, Eddie. Or should I call you Cindy Mancini? <gasps> what? No. I put the CW pilot! Oh, oh my god, I'm so yeah. excited! Oh, oh, congratulations! I know! Oh. <laughs> Clark, you want to even out that facial with uh, the rest of Pierce's super know. concoction? Uh. Yeah, no thanks. It doesn't look like there's any loungers available anyway. Ah, no. Pierce and I can share. Yeah, all right. Why not? What the hell? Mm. I'll just take out a little bit of this. Oh, looks kind of nice. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, looks snap. Like you got some bird caca <laughs> in your hairline. That's going to be hard to get out. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh, what's wrong? <laughs> Are we finished here, children? I just got off the phone with Lisa Eddy. There's a party at the SLS tonight, and she wants you there to promote. What do you think? Ah! Uh, what do I tell Lisa Eddy? Tell her I'm on a therapy retreat and I just can't make it. As your publicist, I have to say, good. That was the right decision. Oh my god, Clark. Oh, you know what? Clark did it! What? what? No, no, I didn't. That was Cooper. What up, Momo? Don't move. I need you with my shield. Oh, Mmm, that smells good in here. Can I help? Hey, did I, uh... Did I do something to save you? No. Why? Um, you've been acting weird since yesterday. Have I? Look, if this is about Cooper, I can assure you that I am a professional and I would never do anything to jeopardize Look, the relation. Cooper and I dated a long time ago, all right? I don't really care who he dates. Besides, if I was going to be upset about anything, it'd be how terribly bad you're chopping those tomatoes. Um, there's no right or wrong way to chop a tomato, is okay. there, Maya? <laughs> a, tomatoes are technically fruit, and B, I've seen the inside of your Jeep, so you could definitely use some organizing in your life. And you could use a little messy in yours. It's about the taste, not the preparation. I can assure you they'll taste just as amazing as they look. But you see, Eddie hates onions, so if you cut the tomatoes with the same knife as you're cutting with onions, she won't eat them. Mental note, Eddie's next lesson, why fajitas taste better with grilled onions. All right, come here. I'm going to show you how it's done. Take a hold. Hold it like this, all right? 
Oh my god, that's exactly the same way I was cutting them. What? Yeah, except for the fact that tomato juice is not squirting out every which way. <laughs> hey oh, party people. Let's cook it. Clark's famous fajitas, evidently. Ooh, sounds fab. Hey, uh, anybody want a tasty app before the main course? What are those? Blue dolphins. Guaranteed to send you nosediving into a sea of happy. Uh, yeah, no thanks. I haven't been to the White Park since senior year. How about you, nature boy? This shit is pure MDMA. I'm on the job. Thanks. Wine? You guys suck. Oh, can't. My favorite. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, no worries, TJ. You can have mine. It's right over there. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm about to open a bottle of Riesling and have a dinner anyway. Will you round everybody up? I'm going to grab the beef and the chicken off the grill. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Big, big. It's just Here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, did my attitude again? No, it stinks like onions. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh, everything looks so wonderful, Clark. Absolutely. <gasps> I gotta take a picture of the spread before everyone tears it up. Can we eat now? Mm. Ooh. Can you take a picture for us? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Are we turning? Uh, what's What? Are you for serious? <laughs> Yeah, I've never heard of it. What is it? Um, it's only what you do when you want to take a really sexy picture like this. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, it's Olsen Twins' trademark move. Guaranteed hot photo. Here, you try it. Oh, just, no, just give it a little whirlsies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here, say prune and keep your lips in that position. Prune. Mm. Is that really necessary while we're eating? Do I detect some jealousy, Mr. Townsend? <laughs> I'll go there and kiss you too if you like. I think I'd rather be kissing uh, Maya. I'm not eating. Is anyone else feeling warm? I am. How about you, Clark? I'm fine. You know, kissing Maya's not so bad. I let her kiss me all the time. Yeah, Clark, why you gotta hate on the dog like that? That wasn't an insult to Maya, and please, Cooper, you don't even like dogs. <laughs> Because, as I recall correctly, you wouldn't let us have a dog when we were living together because you said that it would ruin the carpet. Well, that doesn't mean I don't like dogs, just because I didn't want one living in the house. <laughs> Besides, we're too busy taking care of Eddie. Um, I don't like being compared to a dog. I'm sorry, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to compare you to a dog. More like having a child that doesn't pay rent. Damn, this wine is strong. I am feeling so damn good right now. Cooper, leave Eddie out of this, okay? This is before she was making her own money. She needed help, you know. Well, we weren't her parents. Oh, right. Because you didn't want kids. Now I remember. That was the reason that we broke up. Right? Excuse me. Enjoy it. Awkward break. <laughs> and they say us lesbians like to fight. I think we need some music. Um, sorry about that. Will you all excuse me for a minute? Maybe I should go find Clark. No, he wants to be alone when he gets like this, trust me. Did you get enough meat? Is there a way? Time to play. Hey, Clark! Where'd you go? Come on, Maya.
Hey, what are you doing down here? We like to come down here sometimes, too. Do you want to be alone? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm sorry about all that. Seems like you and Cooper have some unresolved issues. Yeah, I don't think you can resolve the things that broke us up. Maybe I could help. I guarantee you that the last thing Cooper and I would want to do is discuss our past with a life coach. It's been hard enough remaining friends. You ever think maybe you shouldn't be? I don't know. I think it'd be harder not having him in my life. Plus, someone has to look out for him. You do an awful lot of that. What? Taking care of your friends. Someone has to. Regular catcher in the rye. <laughs> All right. So managing talent is not as much of a humanitarian effort as life coaching. What made you decide to anyway? Well, you know, my parents are in the business and I'd be on set all the time growing up. I'd be surrounded by these amazingly creative people coming together to make these beautiful works of art to show the world. But inside, they would just seem so sad. I wanted to help. Yeah. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. That city will knock you down every day if you let it. I felt it myself. Well, that's why you can't let it. You gotta remind yourself every day that it's just life and to enjoy it while you have it. That's easier said than done. Is it? Coop! Coopaloop, we thought you crashed out. Come join the party. Get your sexy ass over here and come play some strip poker with mama, baby! Here, where are you going? I have a three-five and a joker. I have a hard time with you. Oh, oh, yes! Take, take it, it off. off! Take it off! Woo! Oh. That was just my vision. No, I totally. Can you come uh. get me then? Because I might need a ride. I. Ian said that the SLS party is amazing and that we have to go. No, I'm yeah. gonna find a way to get there. I'll see. I'll see you. Tell Anna said hi. We have to get to that party. No, we can't. We have to go. What? No, we can't. I'm... All right, fine. I'm gonna go by myself. Wonder if yellow cab will come here. You're just so dumb. Oh, can I have some popcorn? Yeah, open your mouth. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Go get it. Go get it. Good girl. <laughs> oh. Good girl. What made you decide to get her anyway? Well, I was walking by the park, and it was adoption day, and she was a rescue and needed a home. I wasn't even really planning on getting a dog, actually, but her eyes met mine, and she picked me. It wasn't until later that I realized how much I needed her, too. What do you mean? Well, she's my best friend. My partner in crime. I hadn't realized how long I've been saying goodnight to an empty bed. I guess she kind of filled the void for me. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. I guess Eddie's kind of like that for me. Like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Except we don't sleep together, usually. <laughs> you know, I think... You might have the most genuine smile that I've ever seen. Am I interrupting something? Uh, no. Um, just um, join the view. Yep. Is that all? Yeah. Yeah, just... Uh... That's it. Just enjoying the view. Yeah, just, you know, chilling. Is this something you want to tell me, Clark? Just enjoying the view. Clark, <laughs> come on. Tell him. I thought we had something, Pierce. Well, clearly you two are the ones with the real connection here, all right? I'm sorry, all right? It's just a set. I think I've had too much wine to drink. I should probably go check on
So, listen, I'm flattered someone as beautiful and sweet as you is interested in me, Cooper. Really, I, I am. But I've liked Clark since we first met. Look, it's all good. I know how hard it is to reject someone. Believe me, I have to do it all the time. Games. Where's Eddie? She left. Left? Where? To the promo party in Beverly Hills. Who took her? Um, yellow cab? Stop. I'm sorry. I, I, I tried to stop her this time, Clark. I swear, I swear I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Clark. You should have asked him to join us. <coughs> you know I like it rough. You sexy bitch. It wasn't half as bad as my morning. I think I relived 1981 to 1987 in a matter of hours. Talk to me. Clark. But please, don't yell. Clark tried to kiss me last night. That was bold. I don't think Clark's made it past it anyone since he got wasted at Britney Spears two years ago and made out with some random in the front row. <laughs> Wouldn't know. Cooper interrupted. Clark got all weird, denied the whole thing ever happened, ran off to find Eddie. Awesome. I tried to warn you about Clark and Eddie. Clark is a slave to Eddie, and Eddie is a slave to her own warped psyche. I really thought I could help her. Mm -hmm. And you thought by helping Eddie, you might also open up Clark's eyes to what a wonderful man you are. Hmm? Maybe. <laughs> but I was really getting through to her. I, we were connecting, honestly. Maybe you were. She can't go someone like Eddie. She's perfectly content with her own erratic behavior. And you cannot help the crazies who love the crazy. Don't I know. I don't know what I was thinking, you're right. You can't help someone who doesn't want to help. Mm -hmm. I'm an idiot. And also, if Clark couldn't see what a wonderful man you were before you started jumping through hoops for he and his clients' careers, well, he's the idiot, not you. He's not an idiot. He's a good guy, he's just... Maybe scared. I know that. 
Like, I love Clark, too, but just because he's a great guy it does not mean he's going to open up his heart to you. What about Cooper? He likes you. He's not afraid to admit it. I don't like Cooper. Yeah. That's a Zelle, honey. We are not lucky enough to be picky. Okay. Hey. Hey. I'm not mad at you, you know? Well, that's a relief. No need to be a smart ass. Cooper, I wasn't trying to get in between you and Pierce. There is no me and Pierce. Fine. There's no me and Pierce either. You sure about that? Stop. Cooper, stop trying to be my relationship advisor. You can barely keep a guy for a week. It's because I still love you. You know that. And I'm a jerk. And I'm set in my ways. And I'm stubborn. And I'm probably never going to change. But I will always love you. But just because I can be the guy you needed me to be doesn't mean this guy can't. I'm perfectly capable on my We own. know that. We all know that. You've proven it ten times over. Now, will you get over yourself and admit you like him? It's not that simple. It is that simple. That's... That's why you've been acting like such a baby all weekend. You're jealous. Please. Look. Jealous. I didn't come to start an argument. We're leaving anyway. All I wanted to say was if I'd known you liked him, I would have backed off. You can always be honest with me, Claire. Take care. Hey, would it be all right if Goldie rides back with us? Sure. Why not? What? Sorry, babe. I think I'm going to ride back with them, too. Besides, you and Clark have things you need to talk about. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm sorry, Dan. No worries. Thanks for having us up here. One of the best weekends I've had in a while. A welcome change from all the glam and glitter of L.A. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Wait for me. Well, maybe it's not so much the glitter. Bye, Pierce, with the piercing eyes. Bye, honey. Give Clark some time, all right? Deep down, he knows who he is. Just has trouble showing it to the rest of us. He's too busy trying to carry us all on his back. Trust me, he's worth the wait. I'm not so sure he feels the same about me. Yeah, he does. You might be long gone by the time he admits it to himself or anyone else, but it's definitely there, all right? And if you two do get together, you better take good care of them. <laughs> okay. All right, good luck.
What the hell? They left. Looks like it's you and me. Is that okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. That was only the most awkward 30 minute drive of my life. Are we gonna talk about this? Well, look, I'm sorry that Eddie left without finishing the retreat. Once I find her a new publicist, I'll see if I can get her back on. If Eddie wants to keep working with me, fine. After this weekend, I can see her potential too, but it has to be her choice, not yours or mine. But I'm not talking about Eddie, Clark. You know that. I'm talking about us. I don't think there can be an us, Pierce. Why? Because we have a professional relationship. That's a terrible excuse and you know it. Look, right now I don't have time for a relationship. That's bullshit. If you like someone, you make the time. You saw what happened this weekend. I leave Eddie alone for, for, for what, two seconds? And the world turns upside down? And now, with TJ gone too, it's only going to get worse. I can still help. Eddie is not your problem, Pierce. And she's not your boyfriend, Clark. She's your career. You're not her babysitter, okay? You're her manager. She's a grown woman. Oh, okay, but right now, she needs me for more. All of my clients need me for more. What if I said I need you for more, huh? I tell you I can give you a friendship. Look, Pierce. I'm sorry, it's just... Right now, I can't be responsible for someone else's feelings. It's, it's, it's too much. That's crap. You're just scared. You're scared that if you give me a chance, you give up control. All right, maybe on some level you're right, but right, right now it doesn't change anything. Okay, I can't. I'm sorry. What's so bad about giving up control for once, huh? To allow someone else to take care of you. I don't need anyone to take care of me, Pierce. Okay? I never have. Cooper needed me. I never needed him. And I'm sorry, but I just don't need you either. Just like you don't need that family you abandoned back in Texas, huh? Listen to me, Clark. You did need Cooper. You needed him to need you. Just like you need Eddie and your clients and all of your friends to need you. But look, if you're not careful, you're gonna end up just like all those beautifully creative but miserably sad people I watched growing up. Because in the end, it doesn't matter how many dinner parties you hosted or how many matches you made or how big your clients' careers are. Your clients will move up. The matches will make families, and rest assured that when your friends find someone that makes them happy, they will leave you too. It's called life. And eventually you're gonna have to start living yours. Because if you don't, you're gonna be left alone. Saying goodnight to nothing but an empty bed.
You hear? in there? Says he's still not talking to you. Crap. I understand. I understand that. I understand. But yeah. I can promise you that she is an investment risk that will pay off. <sighs> I'm I sorry. I'm far too busy finding you a new publicist to accept your worthless apologies at this moment in time. Scram! Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I... I can't leave until I talk to you. I can't leave until I talk to you. You have a fitting for the CW pilot in a few hours, so I hope you're not planning on sticking around long enough to miss that. Clark! Yes. Yes. Oh my god! Yes. I'm sorry, okay. please! Come on, please! Yes. I'll be your bitch dog. I'll be your bitch I'm dog. Sorry, right. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. No, 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 there's not a dog <laughs> in my office. Oh, There's no dog in the <coughs> If you can't make him laugh, something is seriously wrong. No. There is nothing wrong. Now, will you please get the hell out of my office and leave me alone? Good. Get out! I need my sunglasses! Go. Take your glasses! Get out! Get out. Get out. get out! get out! Get out! Okay. No! No, no, no! Not you! Hello? Hello? He's a vampire, Dad. Look at his pale skin. Oh. God, he's her one true love. Oh. Ah. I know. Crock of shit. Oh, whatever. I know for a fact that he's read all four books. <laughs> he's not even sulking about me. This is about that boy. <gasps> oh, believe me. It has plenty to do with you. Did something happen after I left? Something happened after I left, didn't it? Well, TJ did insist on riding with me and Gage so that Clark and Pierce could talk. Oh, Clark! What happened? Nothing. Clark, did you hurt that poor boy's feelings? What did you say to him? Why would you care about his feelings? Because he's crazy about you. And how in hell did you pick up on something like that? You still think a well drink is something you order when you're feeling sick. And that open bar means during business hours. Enough. You know what? I know exactly what you're doing. I saw you do the same thing five years ago with Cooper. I have no idea what yes, you're talking about. Yes, you do. You like him, don't you? You like Pierce. Just admit it. You know what? You've been bitching about the same guys in the city for the past two years, and now you finally met somebody different, and it scares the shit out of you. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. What did you do? Oh, God. Is he dying? <gasps> of course. I think he's in love. Are you ready to admit it now? Fine. For some strange reason, I am drawn to him, but it doesn't change anything. I can't be with him. Why? Because he's... He's too granola. Okay, well, he bathed, so try again. 
He's too messy. Have you looked in the mirror lately? No! <laughs> <laughs> He's too kind and caring, He's too giving. It's uh, too good for me. Come on. Hey, no man is too good for you. Okay, you just finally met your match. She's right. It's like when Gage told me he can only date me in my Gucci dress if he's drunk. So I told him, if you look for reasons to not let someone in, you're always going to find them. And now look, we're going steady. Oh, well, thank you, Oprah Homo. Listen, how often do you find a guy, a decent guy, that you're even attracted to, huh? You know, I think about it. My own parents stopped having children after me because they were so terrified that a younger sibling couldn't tolerate me. And, you know... Pearson only tolerates me, but I, I think he actually kind of likes me. And how else are you going to find anyone else that can stand to be around me, huh? But I'm worried. I mean, what if it doesn't work out and I just end up hurting him? Well, I think you already are by not giving him a chance. What if he ends up hurting me? Duh. I'll kill him. But you do realize that if I were to start dating someone, you wouldn't be able to sleep over as often. <laughs> Please. You're kidding, right? <laughs> Man, the only reason I stay over as much as I do now is so your tired, pathetic, lonely ass isn't wasting away at home. Oh, man, trust me, I would so much rather be living it up in my big, expensive house in the hills. I'm, I mean, I'll come over and eat leftovers every once in a while. But... Hey, listen to me. Good. Clark Matthew Townsend. I don't care if the man does speak to his dog like it understands him. He is a, he's a needle in a gay stack. Okay? And you need to stop worrying about all of us. And you need to stop preparing for the life that you don't have. And start living the one that you do. Okay? So... Get your perky ass home and brush those nasty vomit teeth and go get your mud bath loving, sewage shake drinking wilderness geek before someone else does, okay? When did you become so smart? When you signed me, you said I had to move up to the old Hollywood ways. I've only ever done that. Don't tell me you're getting this again already. <laughs> no, 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 not that, no. Look, it's... It's like what you said about the city, right? Having been there as long as I have, you forget who you are. And you try and protect what little bits of yourself that you have left. It's scary for me to open up to anyone, Pierce. Especially someone who is as comfortable with himself and who knows himself as well as you do. 
But Clark, you do know yourself. Otherwise, why do you think so many people would depend on you like they do? That's actually what I like about you most. <laughs> Look, I... All I want... All, all I wanted since we met was a chance. I can't promise you it was gonna work. I've never even done this, but I can tell you I was gonna put everything I have into trying to make it work, and it's just stop, shut up, okay? I should be the one convincing you. I should have been honest with myself from the first time that I saw your smile that day. I knew then. Okay. I'm sorry that it took my stupid ass mouth this long to express what I've apparently been wanting all this time. Fine. <laughs> I accept your apology. And I appreciate the way you expressed your sentiments, but just so you know. I'm still a little bit pissed. <laughs> and I may need to hear them again. dinner and then have a little good night. That sounds perfect. No more empty bed. Over me, turn. 